Hi guys, welcome to Supercars of London and my first supercar again. As you can probably tell if you look out the window, I haven't moved from the uh, my first supercar unveiling. So this was all filmed on the same day. I still haven't driven this car um, due to the fact that I'm only 23 and um, insurance companies only insure 25 and over to test drive the car. So this is the first time I'm ever going to drive um, the Audi R8. First time I'm going to lift the clutch. Um, so let's see how it goes. I'm quite nervous, excited. Um, I feel a lot of pressure on me as well because I know that there's going to be a lot of people watching. So um, let's start the V8 up and um, let's go. So you can hear the V8. Into first gear. Seatbelt on. Safety first, guys. Handbrake off. Ah. <laughs> I've, I've stalled it. Back into neutral. Um, sorry, guys, for the delay. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. There we go. Let's try not to stall it this time. Here we go. The first couple of yards driving um, an Audi R8 into second gear. And it feels quite easy to drive. Um, I don't know whether you can tell, but I'm shaking. Um, the heart is racing. And uh, it feels weird. If nothing like I've ever driven before, and I haven't even gone over 15 miles an hour, um, my previous car, just so that you guys know my car history, was a Vauxhall Astra 1.6 SXI. So you can imagine that this is a bit different. Um, we're sat so low to the ground. Um, there's a brilliant view in front of me. The wing mirrors just look incredible. And I'm just, I can't believe it. I literally cannot believe that I'm driving an Audi R8 um, that's mine. So, um, yeah. Sit back, enjoy, enjoy the drive. It's actually quite comfortable, very quiet. So for all of those that thought that I was going to get the um, Mercedes C63, um, obviously the stock AMG sounds absolutely beautiful. And the R8, it does seem quiet. Maybe uh, we get, if we get the chance, we can open, open up the exhausts a bit. Um, well, the gear changes is fantastic. You get to hear the gear changes. Um, I'm quite nervous about putting my foot down as well. I've been very timid on the accelerator, as you can tell. My, my head's not banging in like when we did my first supercar with Premier Velocity and um, James. Um, and yeah, we haven't actually seen any pedestrians. It doesn't feel any different to driving a normal car. I'm, at, I'm doing 30 miles an hour which on this road is the speed limit. I mean, yeah. Driving my first supercar for the first time. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to wipe this smile off my face, ever. So we're coming up to the first sort of overpass that's gonna, where's the, how do you, how do you turn the window down? Here we go. I'm gonna put the window down for you guys to, uh, Hear the sound of the R8 as we go under here. <laughs> that is. <laughs> oh, I'm going to come across like a 12 year old kid on YouTube, but uh, that was cool as. So we're going to take the long route home today. I hope the petrol can last that long, otherwise I'll be end up um, at the side of a road calling mum. And probably the RAC actually, I don't know who's got more fuel. But um, it's the long route home tonight and I'm sure that we're going to have some many, many fun miles in this car to come. This car is... Uh, 
battery like I've ever driven before. Coming back to uh, traffic lights now. I don't feel like I'm in anything out of the ordinary. Um, I didn't really know what to expect with um, reactions on the road. Of course, it's a silver. Oh, we got one looker. It's a silver R8 with carbon side blades. It doesn't. It doesn't not fit in. Whereas things like I filmed in London, like the Tron Aventador, which just caught everyone's eye. Um, I don't feel like it's got that sort of perception in this car. So um, yeah, I'm just. I'm just. I'm trying to relax myself. See if you can see how much I'm shaking. So we've driven about two miles. We've actually gone down 10 miles in terms of fuel. Um, hold on a minute. Have we taken the SB race engineering for the number plate? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> well, we've, I was so excited about taking off, I've actually left the SB race engineering number plate on the rear of the car. <laughs> so we're driving around. With no number plate on the back, I'm going to have to pull over. Which one <laughs> number plate? <laughs> Cannot believe that we left this SB race Ooh. on the back. On the back of um, the RA before we took off. So now we're back to driving with the real number plate <laughs> on the back. Probably good exposure for SB Race Engineering, though. No? Oh, I love this car. I've never driven anything like this, but this is my favourite. My legs are literally like jelly, and I've got to deal with a clutch. And this is pretty much a hill start, and for those that know of driving, doing the driving test, my legs feel like that. So, uh, waiting for the um, green light to go. Maybe I'll put my foot down on this one as well. Put my foot down if we get a bit of room. Try and unleash some of the 419 horses that are um, sitting behind me just ready to go. You'll probably see now that my legs literally can't stop moving. Here we go. Is there anyone behind me? Oh, there is. I hope I don't back into them. <laughs> I thought I was going to stall there. There we go. Let's, let's feel the power. Oh, that just goes. That wasn't even up to 4,000 rev. It just, my stomach just started to go. Oh. Yeah, he likes it. Having driven this now for like 20 minutes or so, um, you you can tell that it is something special. I'm not driving a Vauxhall Astra anymore. People are actually looking at me, and I'm I've been in a few cars. Obviously, you've seen the YouTube videos of my first supercar. You've seen the videos of me driving around in Lamborghinis and stuff like that in London. Um, I have been in some really cool cars, and I'm very very lucky to do so. And you you do see a lot of people looking, but actually driving something like this and getting looked at and sort of hopefully everyone is enjoying enjoying seeing this car as I would if I was um, driving around back in my Vauxhall Astra sad to see it go but um, I think this is a worthy replacement what's next for um, my first supercar the Audi R8 we're going to take it to SB Race Engineering we're going to um, get everything checked out um, put the likes of some new brake brakes on it and uh, and things like that um, then we're gonna head over to projects UK over near Bristol might put some new wheels on it what color do you think black titanium white silver whatever color what color do you think I should have my wheels comment below or what about what color I should wrap it We've seen some pretty crazy wraps. Um, everyone must know the Schmiemobile was in like a midnight purple. Um, we've had matte green in London. 
we've actually had a really luminous purple just pop up. So some really nice colours, so make sure that you comment on this video. What is your perfect Audi R8? Exhaust system, wrap, colour wheels. I can't really change the interior though, the interior has to stay black. Um, but everyone, please comment below. Um, the journey has just begun on Supercars of London and with myself and my first supercar, so make sure that you subscribe, share, like, um, and we will see you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Take care.